So what you're looking at right here is an actual PC case made entirely out of, entirely out of Legos. And now, the first thing you may be wondering is, how the heck did I want to take apart a computer, which the case is sitting down here, and put it all inside of a Lego case that I custom built? And there was a lot of challenges in building this, don't get me wrong. Uh, I hope you guys will stick around for like the time lapse of it and everything. But this is pretty much, as I said, a computer that's fully you know, a custom LEGO case. And one of the biggest things that shocked me when I actually benchmarked it is that this ran a whole extra 10 degrees Celsius cooler than it was in the case down here. Which, just to put that into perspective, that's like going from the default stop cooler and upgrading to, I guess, a semi-decent cooler. It was still running around uh, 70 degrees Celsius on max load, but um, it, instead of the 80 that it was running earlier, it's a lot better. So, one of the things we wanted to do in this design, or when I started building this, is I tried to keep it all kind of like the colors separated. I have a lot of Legos that I could have used and like done them in various combinations, but I kind of went for a clean um, look, I guess, here when I went through and did this. Um, it was pretty much kind of separating the red and the blue pretty dramatically. Um, I might go try making another design or another version of this if you guys like this video. I'll tell you what, this video gets, um, let's go for 10 likes. This video gets 10 likes, we'll go ahead and we'll build another version of the Lego um, case and stuff and we'll see what we can do. I will say though, one thing I liked about this motherboard, I know this is an old computer and it's only, you know, a lot of the parts are pretty cheap, um, but it actually has a power button on the motherboard, which, so including the fact that the case has the only place that you had, you, I had a power button on here, but I didn't want to go grab it. Um, so including that the case, um, you know, this obviously doesn't have a power button in it. It was pretty nice. I do have to have like a tool to go through and grab it. Um, or hit the power button, but because I have to like put it in through there and then you know try to go grab the power button. But for the most part, this was actually you know a pretty successful thing. Uh, one thing I will make note of is that I ended up putting the power supply back here. Let me see if I can turn this around for you guys real quick so you guys can get a nice little view. So, right back here is where the power supply is in the hard drive, and I know this is a running computer and probably not the best thing to do at the time. But I have a hard drive sitting about on top of the power supply, and then the power supply is sitting right here, and then an output vent fan right here. Uh, the other thing I went through and did was I also made an input fan right over the processor so that basically this cools it a lot better. I also added some venting on the top so that there's some air that comes out here as well as on the side right here. So it gives it a lot of air dispersal. Um, there's a lot of room outside the back as well to allow you know a little bit of airflow. Um, the other thing I did do was uh, make a lot of room for the fans. I tried to leave them a good bit of space. I don't know how well you guys can see the power supply. Uh, other issue I had is a lot of the problem with this power supply is it was a fully, it wasn't any bit modular and it wasn't, um, it was really annoying. So I had to leave a lot of the cables out, otherwise they would just keep pressing on it and kind of expanding it up. One of the things I liked about this though, is it's actually pretty sturdy. Um, I can actually, you know, shake it, bang on it pretty much, it works, pre it's pretty sturdy, which for a Lego case, I will say I have not built anything probably this sturdy in a long time. Um, other thing is the graphics card in here, there is a graphics card, um, I'm actually really impressed with how it went down, um, because the graphics card uh, has power, uh, it has to come outside the case, though I tried to keep the case really small and try to fit it to like one Lego plate. Uh, the other thing I did is I um, included like pretty much everything the computer could need. Um, it has a graphics card, it benchmarks, it works, uh, it can game, which is really nice because like, you know, I've seen some Lego cases online and you know, that's not, it wasn't because I saw them, I actually came up with the idea and then I looked online checking to see what other people had done, if, if other people had done it. And a lot of the cases were like really bulky and weird and I made something that was more like of a mini ITX or a mid ITX. This is actually a mid ITX motherboard but we kind of fit into the same space you'd expect to get a mini ITX in. Um, which I thought was pretty good about it. And it actually, compared to the case down here, it actually shrinks it down like crazy. Um, the size that it shrunk it down into is like just, just the box pretty much compared to like this huge case. So let's get into it. Let's show you guys some what, what, what happened when we were building it. Um, there was a lot of designs. Actually, the original design, I started with an original design using my Mindstorm stuff. And that didn't end up working so well. So we ended up switching over here and stuff. But let's get into showing you guys like what happened when we started building it. And I uh, will see you guys there.
you and me are bored of regularities Living all the dreams, playing all the games And getting high on love They can chase us down, but we will always win Leading every dance, feeling every touch And getting high on love We're invincible We're invincible. 
Let's escape the gray and let the colors rain. Turn the shit we do and our words into pure reality. Cause you and me are meant to be what they don't see. Never feeling wrong cause we don't belong in getting high enough. We're invincible. So let me know guys, what do you think of the LEGO PC? If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought in the comments. And of course, uh, thank you all for watching. Share this if you enjoyed this guys. Let's get this. I really want to see this go viral. This would be awesome. It took a lot of work to make this video. I spent like all Friday afternoon making it. I really did enjoy it though. So hope you all did too. And uh, we'll see you around.